Good morning, Taimina Khan is here in TK Maths is fun. In today's video, we will see first two questions solution on um, S2 paper of June 2024 mathematics. Code is 9709. So this is question number one, which is on boson distribution and lambda is 145. You have to use approximate distribution to calculate probability of x less than or equals to 150. Now I have written here for you to recall that this is the formula for the boson distribution but question is saying use suitable approximation so we are using normal distribution as an approximation to the boson distribution condition is lambda is greater than 15 and then the distribution becomes this and don't forget to apply the continuity correction because boson is discrete data and we are applying normal distribution which is a continuous data so when you will apply continuity correction it will become 150.5 and after that you will apply the standardized formula which is z is equals to x minus mu divided by standard deviation you get the value of z less than 0 0.4567 you calculate the probability against it i have shown you here in the tape uh, sketch what it what does it look like so your answer is 0 0.6761 which is 67.61 percentage usually we give answer in three significant figure as per the instruction on the first page second part of the question is justify the use of your approximation distribution so you are writing this condition here again the distribution here again and telling that continuity correction is must so you have explained here question number two uh, this question has come I think after a long time in which the random sample um, is generated through the digits by calculator or by any other mean so these are the 20 random generated number in the sample 804 students were there now 804 is a three digit number so when you are numbering students the important thing here is to remember is whoever is number one actually he will not be one he will be zero zero one similarly the next number will be zero zero two so all numbering has to be in three digits this is something important so henry first two student number are 567 and 109 by the way this i have written uh, dashes and crosses i'll tell you why so in the sample we have to select next two students so if the first student is 567 next is 109 then I have to select next two. So next student will be 843. Now 843 is out of the range of 804. So nobody was numbered 843. Then 109 is repeated, the same student. So we will not pick him up again. Further we will go 665 will be the next student. Then it will be 21. So 021. So this is how you will select the number for the next two students. After that it is about henry sample this question is from the unbiased estimation of the mean and variance so there are 30 students in henry sample and what is this representing the variable x is actually representing the time spent on social media each week on average and the data summarized is given to you here so n is representing 30 students sigma x is representing the sum of those timing he has calculated for 30 students and sigma x square is squaring all the timing and then adding it up first question is use this information to calculate the unbiased estimation of the mean and show that the unbiased estimation of the variance of x is less than 0 0.1 so these two questions were easy because they are very formula based this is the formula for the unbiased estimation of the mean of population which is same as for the mean of population sigma x over n so you got 20.3 it's better you write the unit here that will reflect your sound understanding okay, what is the number representing then after that it is an unbiased estimation of the population variance so again you know the formula either this one or this one i like using this one so i'm using it so your answer comes of variance is 0 0.05747 in three significant figure it will be 0 0.0575 okay if you have to write answer in three significant figure you will write it like this and this indicates that the spread of the r spent on social media among the students is relatively low variance is low right so there is very little variance and it is less than 0 0.1 this is what we have to prove 
now the other part of the question sorry it was overlapping let me just write it separately here let me decrease the size only then it will you will be able to read just give me a few minutes okay okay so now uh, actually when i was writing in my handwriting it was becoming too large so i turned it into text so henry's friend claimed that henry has uh, probably has made mistake in his calculation and you have to comment on it with respect to your answers of part b in part b your mean was 20.3 hours and your variance was 0 0.0575 so what does it mean I have tried to explain here in detail. You don't need to write too much detail, but comment means you have to explain it properly at the same time. So, the very low variance, which is 0 0.0575, calculated from the data suggests that all the values are usually close to the mean, right? Variance shows the spread of the data. If it is very small, it means there is not much spread of the data, it is very close to the mean, which indicates that Henry may have made mistake in the calculation because such a small variance of sample size of 30 students is a typical for real world when you can irregular for any real world data on a topic like social media usage where individual habits typically vary this is a sorry vary more significantly where in this unusual low variance might suggest a very homogeneous sample so based on this real world situation we think he has made mistake so in the next video i will solve the next two question so take care allah hafiz and don't forget to share it with your friends and subscribe and press the like um, bell icon